What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create this for just a low payment of $19.95 plus shipping tax and anything else I really wanna tack on there because hey, we're just doing as seen on TV and that's the way it's gonna be. Let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out weekly videos helping you guys grow as creators, filmmakers, whatever you're wanting to do. I'm here to help you guys out. Uh, I am not charging you guys $19.95 to learn this as seen on TV ad style overlay. Uh, it's really not that complicated to learn. So we're gonna jump inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm gonna teach you guys how to create this. Uh, let's jump inside, we'll get going. As you can see, this super cheesy over the top as seen on TV image just is kind of hilarious and really won't work for every video but for some videos it will work really well maybe you're doing a really over-the-top commercial and you want to have this as seen on TV look uh, so I'm gonna grab both of these and I'm gonna move it out of the way for a second uh, and we are gonna add a new fusion composition so I'm gonna go to effects library toolbox effects Fusion Composition. I'm gonna drag it and drop it in here. Because I know this needs to be the same length, I'm just going to hover it over these, make it the exact same length I need, and now we can forget these guys over here and just focus on this one. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop inside the Fusion tab. Once we're inside the Fusion tab, the first thing we need to do is add a background, and we are gonna go ahead and connect that to our media out right here. Uh, and instead of doing it black, I'm actually gonna do it kind of a purple. Uh, I think that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, I can live with that. And instead of solid color, I'm actually just gonna do horizontal. And instead of it being black, we're also gonna do the second one purple, but just a little bit darker of a purple. I think that looks better. Uh, what I need to do is I need to add a transform to my background. Uh, we will get to that in a little bit. With the background selected, I'm gonna add an ellipse uh, and I'm gonna move it over and kind of up a little bit. You can click invert right here under the inspector, ellipse, invert. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the width a little bit wider and I'm gonna make the height something like that. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Now we need to add our little box at the top that says order now. So I'm gonna add another background, hold shift and drop it in. It's gonna create a merge node right there. I'm also going to add a transform. And in the background, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it white. And then on the background, while it's selected, I'm gonna hit a rectangle. And that's gonna bring up a rectangle. And we are going to mess with the corner radius, the width, and the height a little bit. I'm just gonna fine tune that where I think looks good. I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna click on the transform and I'm actually gonna size it down and I'm gonna bring it up here and kind of something like this. I think that looks pretty good right there. Now what we need to do is we need to add the text so we can either click a merge hold it, drop it in, um, and then we can add our text right here and connect it. Or you can always just add a text, hold it down, and drop it into your node tree and it'll add a merge itself. I'm gonna go ahead and add a transform node. Basically anything I'm gonna be doing, I'm adding a transform node in that little branch of my node tree. I'll explain in a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type out what I need. Order now. And then instead of doing white, we're gonna do like a purple. Let's do like that, should be pretty good. I'm gonna click on the transform. I'm gonna size it down a little bit and I'm gonna bring it up and over, something like that. We can actually make it a little bit bigger if we want, get that perfectly sized where we like it. I think that looks pretty good right there. Now we need to add our 1995 text. So we can either, again, add a text like this, hold shift, drop it in. You see it automatically creates a merge. I'm gonna add a transform again. I'm gonna go ahead and do what the total is, 1995. Highlight those, size it up a little bit, something like that. I'm gonna grab the transform and I'm just gonna move it over here kind of bring it up, that's a little big. So I'm gonna click on the text and I can either size it down here or I can click on the transform and size it down. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just gonna get that where I think looks good. I think that looks pretty good right there. 
Now we need to add our plus shipping and handling. So the exact same method, merge, connect the merge, text, connect the text, and add a transform. We're gonna go ahead and do plus shipping and handling. I'm gonna make the line spacing a little bit closer and I'm gonna make the tracking a little bit wider like that. I'm gonna to go to the fourth tab and I'm actually gonna make it inverted so it's just the outline because you know those guys, they like to hide the shipping and handling costs so we're gonna kinda of go for that same vibe. I'm gonna click the transform and I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna size it down because we don't need that ginormous. We want people to buy our product. We don't want them getting overwhelmed by the plus shipping and handling. I think that looks pretty good right there. I actually think the text for the 1995 needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna bring it over here, drop it down a little bit. Uh, if I wanna make this come over a little bit more, I just go back to the ellipse and I can drag it over just like that. And I like that, but I'm actually gonna make the text a little bit closer. So I'm gonna make the tracking a little bit smaller and now we can move it over and that looks a little bit better. If I wanna make this text pop a little bit better, what I can do is I can actually go into the fourth tab and instead of solid, I can do gradient again. I can click on the black one right here and I can actually just put a little bit of a shadow and we can grab this white one and drop it down a little bit. That way there's just a little bit of a shadow, not too much, but just a little bit. And I actually think that looks a lot better, just makes it a little bit different than everything else. Now we need to add the only image I had to pull from the internet. So I'm gonna go to the media pool and I've got our credit card information. I'm gonna grab all these and drag them over here so we've got a little bit more room. This is the only image I grabbed from the internet. You can basically grab whatever image you would like. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, I just thought it kind of added to the effect of, you know, selling something as seen on TV style. And I think that looks way better. All I did was bring that in, add the transform just like everything else and sized it where I like. I think that looks pretty good. The last two texts we gotta add is the call now. So I'm gonna add a text, hold shift, drop it in, bring it up here, add a transform. We're gonna put call now with three exclamation points. I'm actually gonna make it be inverted. So it's the outline just to look a little bit different. And I'm actually gonna make it lean a little bit, bring it down here. Let's make the tracking a little bit wider and let's size it up a little bit because we want people to call now, you know. And again, I'm moving that within the text. I can also be moving it within the transform. It does not really matter because I'm not setting keyframes on that. So. The last thing we gotta add is our call now number. So we're gonna add a text, drop it in, connect it to our tree, bring it up here, add a transform. Let's go ahead and add our number, 1-800-888-8888. Highlight those, make it really big because we want people to call Go ahead and move it over here, something like that. Looks pretty good. I actually think I might move my call now a little bit over, something like that, and bring it up a little bit. It's a little too close for my taste. On the text, I want to make this pop, so we're gonna go to the fourth tab, and we are gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do gradient, uh, and instead of black, we're gonna do white, and we're gonna do the top color a kind of yellow, orange, that way it's kind of got a fade to it. I think that looks good. Kind of matches this little orange we've got behind that going on. And I actually think that looks really good. Feel free to really take this as a starting point and adjust colors according to what you want. Just because I do a certain step doesn't mean you have to follow it to the exact 
T. I know a lot of people want to know why I'm doing something a certain way and maybe not this way. And a lot of the times I'm just trying to show you guys you can create the same effect multiple ways. And just because I'm not showing you path A doesn't mean that path B is wrong. I'm just trying to show you guys that you can get this same result going down multiple paths. Really just use my videos as a starting off point to then learn more about DaVinci Resolve and create from that point. Now the last thing we gotta do is we gotta start adding keyframes to this stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the transform uh, of the purple background we've got going on here. I'm gonna go to about five frames in I think is good. I'm gonna add a keyframe on center uh, under the inspector and transform. We're gonna go back to the beginning and I'm just gonna grab it and move it over here out of the way. I think that looks pretty good. That way it kind of slides in. And then we're gonna go to frame six, should be pretty good. I'm gonna add a keyframe there and I'm gonna go over, let's just say the 10. And we'll add another keyframe. I'm gonna click on this little arrow, go back to the first one, grab it, bring it up here, just like that. And right at 10 frames, I'm gonna click on the transform of the order now text. Now I could either have it move in or I could have it fade in. Uh, if I want it to move, I think it works better in the transform. If I want it to fade in, I think it honestly works better with the merge. So I'm gonna click on the merge node. I'm gonna go to the settings tab. I'm gonna add a keyframe right here. I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four, five. Add another keyframe, use the little arrow, go back to the beginning and I'm gonna turn it all the way down. That way it pops on and fades up. That looks pretty good. As that's popping up, what we'll do is we'll be right at the same 15 frames. I'm gonna be on the transform of the 1995. I'm gonna add a keyframe. I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six frames. Add another one, move over, grab it, slide it out of the way, just like that. We'll go right there, should be good. I'm gonna add another keyframe on the plus shipping and handling go over one two three four five frames add another keyframe go back to the beginning grab it move it up you can also grab right here on centers X and Y to move them but I just like grabbing the green arrows I think it's easier that way it pops up and then that pops down now we need to do our credit card information so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna find a good spot I think right there looks pretty good plus shipping and handling as it's starting to come down. Right there should be good. I'm gonna add a keyframe, go over one, two, three, four, five, add another one, go back over, grab it, bring it off frame. That way it kind of all slides in just like that. I think that looks good. Last two, we're gonna do the transform on the call now. I'm actually gonna Let's do right about there. I'm gonna add a keyframe, one, two, three, four, five, six. Add another keyframe, go back to the beginning. Drag it the opposite way, just like that. That way it's just a little bit different, more interactive with the video we've got going on right here. I think that looks good. As that's coming in right there, we will add our number. So the last transform right here, add a keyframe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add another keyframe, go back to the beginning. We're gonna grab it, drag it off frame just like that. That way everything kinda has got like a nice little movement to it. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I want to have this call now fade in and out. So I'm actually gonna click on the merge. And what we're gonna do is as it comes on, I'm just gonna go to 40 right here. I'm gonna go to the fourth tab. I'm gonna add a keyframe right here on blend. I'm gonna go to 60. I'm gonna turn the blend down. I'm gonna go to 80, blend up, 100, blend down. And we're just gonna keep repeating this process every 20 frames. You don't have to do this if you don't want to or you can make it shorter, longer, however you're wanting to do it. I'm just doing this because I think it just adds to the cheesiness of please call now. This is not a real number and I don't know what number you're gonna get if you call this number whatsoever. So if you're brave enough to call this number, by all means, go ahead, drop it in the comments below and let me know who picks up. 
after I've got all my keyframes done on the blend for the call now uh, within the merge, that way it fades in and out. Uh, the last thing I honestly want to do is I want to add a little bit of motion blur to this stuff. So I'm gonna click on the transform of the first one right here uh, with the purple background. I'm gonna click on the gear icon. I'm gonna add motion blur. I'm gonna go to the transform of this one, same thing, motion blur. Motion blur can look really good if you use it in the right cases. Uh, I would save it to the very end though, so it doesn't make your computer lag or possibly freeze up and you know just have a problem. You can see this is what the motion blur is doing. Uh, if I click back on that transform and I shut the blur off, you can see it's crystal clear all the way through. I like adding that blur because I think it just looks better. Uh, but we double check everything. I think that looks pretty good and yeah. Go back to your editor. You can then take your video clip, drop it underneath, and you are all set. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you create this as seen on TV, cheesy, over the top effect. If you guys learned something and you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It really does help the video, helps it boost it and show more people. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing, hitting the bell, joining the community. Drop a comment below and some new videos you guys wanna see coming out. I'm the Iron Giant. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.